I'm Kate and welcome along to this car boot sale haul. It's a huge haul of lots of treasure that I found at car boot sales. I think the last one I went to was September, possibly, I think anyway. So I've been saving it to show you in this last car boot sale haul of the year, but it won't disappoint because I've got so many good um, things to show you. I found all sorts. Some, well, mostly housey bits actually, no clothes, some lovely china, lovely china, and some other stuff, which you'll obviously see because this is the video I'm showing it to you. I don't have to tell you at the beginning, I've got stuff to show you because it's a whole video. And um, before I get into it though, uh, I'm going to do my mug of the day, which is over here. And it is a Christmassy one because it's nearly December now. What's the date today? Is it the 18th? Something like that. And this video is going on, I'm filming this Thursday and it's going on tomorrow so happy Friday to you if you're watching it on a Friday and I'm just getting a bit festive around the house so I've been doing a few decorations some garlands I changed the wreath on the door you might have seen it on my um house accounts I put our lovely home bargains Christmassy wreath on and I've started on the stairs and anyway have a look on my house account on Instagram I'll link it in the description box if you want to you know come say hello on there if you're not really following on there anyway i'll just shut up and show you my mug then get on with the haul so a lovely festive mug i think i actually found this at a car boot sale it's got my hair on it it's nice i found this at a car boot sale i think it was last year it was i think it was 50p it's so cute it's one of these queens by churchill mugs and it says the caravan trail festival stags it's a really cute it's got bunting and little polka dots and then festive festival stags on it so this is my mug of the day i've got a coffee that's gone cold but it's still okay um and i will get started on the haul i'm not going to edit this video because i've already been babbling a bit but i'm just gonna leave it in and keep going so i hope you're okay sending love to everyone and i hope you've had a nice week and i did do a poundland haul the other day on wednesday so if you want to watch that it will be linked in the description box as well and you might have noticed I've had, I've had a few extra subscribers lately so thank you very much if you are watching this video and you have subscribed that's lovely and thank you if you subscribed eight days ago it's very nice as well right so i'm going to start off with i'll start off with this it's quite a big a big item and this was one pound. It was such a bargain. So these are from, everything I found are from um, car boot sales in Great Yarmouth. And I probably went to about six over the summer and they were really good. So I shall miss them and hopefully they will be back, hopefully, next um, next summer. So yeah, anyway, I'll start because I've been waffling on and it's about three minutes. So this was a pound and it's a really nice, big, soft cushion. And it's perfect, obviously, for Christmas and for winter. It's really quite long as well. And it's a knitted one. It's in absolutely perfect condition. You know when you see things, if you like car boot sales as well, and you think, why would someone get rid of that? It's amazing. But maybe it just wasn't their style. But I love it. So it's, I think it's off-white. It's like a creamy knitted, um, you know, cushion cover. And on the back, I don't know where it's from originally. Actually, it might say on the inside. This is the back, so it's got some lovely buttons. It's almost like a, a jumper. Someone could have made that, actually. That could have been a handmade. Maybe it's an old jumper. Um, there's some bits. I think it fell on the floor at the car boot sale. So it's got tiny bits of, like, what's that? Let me get that. Let me get that. Um, but yeah, apart from me dropping it on the floor, it's in perfect condition. So maybe that was a jumper. What do you reckon? I'll have a look on the inside. So I'll just undo these buttons and see if there's a make. Or is it sewn shut? I reckon it's probably handmade. Is it? Oh, there is something. Oh, exciting. Oh, it just says, oh, what do you say? Carelessness causes fire. Okay. doesn't tell me where it's from. So if you, oh, hang on, hang on. There's another one. There's another label. I'm ruining the cushion. Let me open another button. Oh dear. This is the first time I've ever, ever undressed a, a cushion. Oh, it's Ikea. Oh, what a nice surprise. Hang on, sorry, one more button. I'm going to be exposing you. I do apologise, Cushion, and I'll put you back. I'll put you back. Oh, I can't undo this one. Oh, I'll leave that. I will put you back away after. It just says Vinter 2014. Well, you're quite old, actually. You're six years old. And yeah, made in India, Ikea. So oh, I didn't know that was from I never would have guessed that was Ikea. Lovely. Oh, I'll do those buttons up later. So that was a pound, a lovely cushion. And actually, that might go in our living room or it might go in our bed. It's just such a snuggly soft one. Snuggly soft one. Right. So that's the first thing. The next thing I'm going to show you is here. 
so I'll, I'll show you this now because otherwise I might forget. So ages ago, I don't think I've shown this before, I found this lovely plate in a, a charity shop and I think it was before I did YouTube so I haven't I don't think I've shown it before but it is Royal Albert 1930s polka rose plate and there's only one of them and I think it cost me two pounds it did cost me two pounds because I remember and it's got a lovely gold edging kind of mint green with with them um, polka dots by the way if you can hear some snoring Rufus the dog is just sitting here having a little snore so just in case you haven't watched my videos before it's Rufus having a snore all that rhymes so this was two pounds and I thought oh that's lovely and I've used this you know, if I have a little bit of cake or something, I like to use this mug. It's just really cute. And these are so expensive. These, um, did I just say mug? I meant to say plate. These are really expensive. This Victoria Royal Albert, sorry. Um, I had a look on Google, on Google, like, you know, when you put it in. And um, yeah, it was really expensive. So what the ages ago? And then when I was at the car boot sale, my last car boot sale that I went to, I found this plate. So it matches and they'd written Royal Albert and it was pound, this one. And I need to wash it. I've literally just bought all this and just shoved it in this room waiting to show you. So it's been here for ages. And um, so they're the same plate, the different pattern, but they go so nicely together. I love it when you find things, you know, the same kind of things that you've already got. So I'll keep my eye out for more because you never know. I might find a few more plates. Just gorgeous. So this is just floral. Um, and I didn't barter. I just gave him a pound. I was like, yeah, it's the same as my other one. And this is on the back. Royal Albert, Bone China. And this is Summer Glory. I'm not sure exactly how much these are. I think you can get them on eBay and stuff, but I know they are quite pricey. I haven't checked recently. I remember looking the first time I found the mint green plate. They are lovely. Um, I've got a whole box of things here, or basket of things. Um, so I'll just pull those closer. Very exciting basket full of stuff. This picture frame was 50p. So when I saw it, I thought that's really good and we'll put it somewhere in our house with a picture in. Obviously, we're not going to leave that in there, but it was 50p. So I asked the guy and I was like, oh, it might be expensive. And um, it was a 50p, I was like, perfect. Can I have that, please? Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, this is a bargain. This was 50p. Does it sound like, yeah, three tins, 50p. So it helps when they write the price on. I roughly know how much I pay for things. It sort of stays in my head for some reason. Um, I think I know roughly how much things cost, but it's even better when it's written on there. So three tins, they were 50p. They're probably from Home Bargains or somewhere. And I just thought they'd be handy. Oh yeah, Home Bargains, TJM storage tins. And yeah, so I'll show you the three of them together. Really cute. So I'll put these in the cupboard with different things in. So one, two, three. Arr. Oh, I'll put you there. Oh, that's awkward. So three storage tins for 50p. I do have quite a few tins, but I, I just couldn't resist them, especially for 50p. Could you have left them behind? I couldn't. I couldn't. I was like, oh, tins. And I hadn't actually bought some tins in a while. And they are good for storing stuff. And actually, I could put makeup. Store my makeup and put it in underneath my little cupboards. Just put it back in oh, without making too much noise. Okay, so I'll put that there. Right, so I'm going to show you this lot of things down here. So if you have been watching my videos for a while, um, you'll know that we were meant to be getting married in the summer, but it didn't happen, obviously, because of everything going on. So we're still planning on next year. I don't know if it'll happen. And I bought lots of china because we we're going to have, have afternoon tea. So I saw these and they were a real bargain. They're really pretty. So I thought I would get them um, just in case. It was £4.50 for this whole box of um, little cups and saucer trios. So the plan was to do afternoon tea and then the wedding favour, the little gift, would be a trio. So you can use it at the wedding and then get to keep it. So that was the idea. So yeah, let me just show you these as a trio. And really pretty pattern, really cute. There's um, a gold edge and some lovely flowers, quite spring, spring-like flowers. And a Royal Stafford, bone china made in England. So there's a little saucer, the plate, and then the little teacups. I do need to wash them because like I said, it's just been in here. But really sweet, aren't they? Gorgeous little trios. So there's four of them. Let's put them back really carefully. And sugar bowl, really cute sugar bowl. And there's no chips on, on anything, so 
Yeah, right, let me just put these back down here. Oh, 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 careful. Okay, right, my final basket of stuff. I say final basket, it's huge. I actually got this basket in Bury St Edmunds, but I haven't, I need to do a charity shop haul. So you'll see this again in a charity shop haul soon. This was 3 99 from Oxfam in Bury St Edmunds. And I did do a video of Bury St Edmunds just before lockdown two happened. Um, there is a vlog. So if you want to have a look at that, you're more than welcome. I met up with Ewan and Luke as well. And we had, um, we had a really nice day. So if you want to watch that, it'll be linked in the description box. And I went around all the charity shops, but I didn't find anything apart from this, but this is a great buy. Oh, and I found some Halloween things actually at Oxfam. Um, and this is so nice, 3 99 loved it i was actually looking at the market with all their lovely baskets and then i found this for such a bargain i love the color it's really nice so this had been um, downstairs and i've had kindling in it because it looks so nice by the fire anyway you want to see what's in it don't you rather than just me talking about the actual basket and where it's been so there's lots of things in here i'll start off with this it was 50p and pretty much brand new um i don't think that's ever been used before it's just one of those metal drinks bottles i actually forgot i bought this because I got some from Poundland the other day but they're just really handy um I do like using them they keep the drinks really cool I think this is one you can put hot liquids in as well it's, it's just perfect doesn't look like that's been used at all so that was 50p and it's it's like purpley pink love that I don't know where it's from but it's really nice so that is for me to use to put some drinks in I got some of these matches in a bottle and i bought some from tk maxx must have been early on this year i think and it was um what's the make oh, i can't remember it just a spark on it and um ray dunn and i think it was 5.99 and then you just like the match on there there's a little bit that you like the match on and then when i saw this i thought oh that's brilliant so i got this to put in the other room or i can put this in the kitchen actually by our log burner that was 50p so it's a little glass bottle with a cork in the top and then matches inside. Oh, can you get the matches out? Oh yeah, you can get the matches out quite easily. I thought it'd be like a trick and you could never get them out. So you take the matches out and then do that on the bottom and that will light them. It's really cute, isn't it? I wonder if someone just made that and put them in or bought it, I'm not sure. It looks like a handmade -y thing, doesn't it? That's lovely though. I think that was 50p. Oh, just got the fingers stuck in. That's not good, but it came out again, as you saw. So 50p for that lovely i think you and would um would have we might have had a little like fight over that not a fight but like i want it i want it um but yeah he wasn't there obviously and i got it for 50p he would like that though but i know he's made he did his own diy ones of those talking of you and mr carrington i do have a present here for him and i sent him a picture of this ages ago and then like when i got everything out i was like i should give that to you and because i know he'd love it he obviously loves um obviously he loves starbucks mugs so he's been finding lots of secondhand starbucks mugs in charity shops obviously before lockdown two happened and i found this at the car boot sale a starbucks christmas travel cup and it was 50p so i got it and thought oh i love that when you know when it comes around when winter when Christmas is here but I'm gonna give this to you and so hi you and if you're watching Mr Carrington I'll link his channel in the description box as well just in case um you don't know who he is but I'm sure you do so yeah his all his all <laughs> his channel will be linked in the description and he will love this I'm pretty sure he will so he's got lots of amazing thrifted Starbucks drinks mugs now he can have um yeah this travel cup Starbucks one with a little snowman on and it's got a nice red top it's in perfect condition and the inside is perfect too. I don't think that's been used. There, ha there was a stall with loads of things on and didn't like, like the same, that other drinks bottle as well. Didn't like any of it been used, which is always good. So 50p for that. And I will post that to you and at some point. A few people have been asking, um, well, quite a lot of people actually, if we're going to do another come dine with us. So during lockdown one, every Friday, I think it was for six weeks we did um a come dine with us so we all did a starter main or dessert so we, we will do a christmas one um it'll be obviously a virtual one because we i don't think we're going to be allowed to be together but yeah we will be doing one so somewhere or another we will be doing a come dine with us christmas version i'm going to be doing the starter 
Ewan's going to be doing the pudding and Luke is going to be doing the main because he's the best cook. So if you want the mains, you know, we should really have him doing them. So yeah, that will be on, I'm not sure when, but there will be that video coming up at some point. I'll also link Luke's channel in the description as well, just in case you don't know who he is. He's lovely, Luke and Ewan. So they're YouTubers, they'll be down there in the description box. Right, let me get on with this. A lovely big white teapot. I think this was a pound. I don't think I haggled. I think I just paid a pound. I don't know where it's from, but it's a nice size big white teapot so I've got lots of um, bright teapots but I thought I'd get a white one and um, well I didn't think that I just saw it for a pan for oh a nice big white one will be lovely I've got a small white one actually but it's only a teapot for one or two but this is a teapot for four so a nice plain white teapot that I couldn't resist and what's this oh this is a mug that was 50p it just says girl gang on it well I just thought I'll get that as a mug of the day I haven't really got a girl gang though as such but you know I just thought oh, it's quite cute so I'll get it mug of the day 50p but I might actually donate that to a charity shop when they open because you know it might be better going to someone else it does have like girl gang um right this is for my dad this looks really weird and I'd never normally buy anything like this normally normally I've said normally about four times so this is obviously a horse <laughs> and a jockey a racehorse sorry and I got this from my dad the lady was lovely who I was buying the things from I saw it and thought do you know what I think my dad's gonna love that and he's so hard to buy for because he doesn't really care about presents but he loves horse racing he's a he's a gambler and I think he's gonna really like this it was two pounds fifty which I thought was quite a lot but the lady said it's it's worth it I think it was quite expensive or it was a gift or something so I gave her two pounds fifty I think I got, I got her down though from about three or four and I'm going to wrap that up and give it to my dad and then he can put it like he sits in a place in his house and does his gambling so he can sit that like behind him and hopefully he'll like it I'll wrap it up and give it to him from Christmas so yeah a little racehorse and a jockey for my dad which is a bit of a weird thing to buy but I think he's going to love it and then I've got oh, three more things to show you. So these two, I really love them. I'm going to put them away for the summer. So this is a, is this an ice box? I think, yeah, this is an ice box. And I love the pattern. It's kind of Kath Kidstony, Laura Ashley, yee yee, Emma Bridgewatery. Um, but it's actually a French make. Where does it Oh, yeah, here. Alpac made in France. So it's got this little carry handle. I need, I need to give it a wash. And then inside you can put ice so in the summer this will look lovely like if you set a table out with drinks and different things and wine and then ice in there if anyone wants ice so, or you could actually just put wine in there couldn't you? you could have that as a wine bucket this was a pound and I just really like the pattern you could use it as something else actually you could probably use it as a plant pot or put flowers in it there's many uses for that but it's got like a plastic thing on it I think it's material underneath really well made and actually I googled this and they're quite expensive as well the make oh it's on the top wasn't it alpac yeah made in France it's a really good quality thing I thought it was a paint pot at first but the, but no it's not it's a an ice bucket and then this is the wine cooler so this was a pound again I think or oh, 50p or a pound I know it was really cheap and um, it's the same make alpac France and then you just put a bottle of wine in there and that'll keep cool. I just really love the pattern. Really nice, isn't it? So I like those a lot. I'm going to put those away because I don't need them now because they're um, summery things. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, I'll put my lovely basket down. And you'll see that again in the charity shop haul soon. Is this, oh, is this lantern? And it was only £1.50. I nearly didn't get it. I think the lady wanted more and then I thought oh I don't need it and then she sort of said oh okay £1.50 and I said okay I will get it then and I'm glad I did because this is quite nice and Christmassy it's a nice metal one looks like it's from Ikea but it's not it says Grey's Grey's Marketing Wiltshire on the bottom there so just a really nice lantern and I could put a fake candle like an LED candle and some maybe a bit of Christmassy foliage stuff in there and that looked lovely so yeah that's my final thing is this lantern in my car boot sale haul so that is everything i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and make sure you subscribe as well and i will speak to you on sunday i've got a secret santa style video it's a collab with chelsea bowen who you might know as well she's another youtuber i'll link her channel in the description she's lovely so we've done like a secret santa 
gift swapping video um a company kindly gave us the stuff so we chose different things for each other well we had a list and then we chose things off the list um so that video will be here sunday morning if you fancy watching that at 8 a.m and then i'll be back on wednesday i think i'm going to do a charity shop haul for wednesday and then i've got an everything five pounds haul for the friday and there's a money off voucher as well so it's like a because i think it's black friday that weekend if i've got it right so there's black friday cyber weekend thing and there's a money off voucher that i'll be telling you about next week um and you'll get get that off everything five pounds as well so that video will be here next friday it'll be a try on haul and i will um i'll get that ready for then so i'm looking forward to i forgot what i bought actually i've got everything ages ago so yeah they're the, they're the next few videos coming up a secret santa on sunday charity shop haul wednesday and then everything five pounds um, sponsored video for Friday. So take care, sending love again to everyone. Come over to Instagram as well. I'm Kate McCabe. My house account is Kate's Homely Home. They'll be linked in the description box along with all the other stuff I've mentioned and have a lovely weekend. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.